Hello everyone. This is Ali Kılıç talking an associate professor from Istanbul Technical University. Today I'm going to introduce you our graduate programs in textile engineering department. Um, textiles is a kind of uh, a wide topic uh, that covers uh, from fiber materials to regular textile uses uh, to fashion design. And on the other side, we do have technical textiles uh, that are concentrated nowadays on electronic textiles, composites, as well as um, medical textiles and other things. So in ITU, one of the oldest textile departments, uh, we do have facilities to produce uh, such materials, such kind of um, techniques. We do have all, all of them. Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to talk about textile engineering departments and our graduate programs. This is Ali Kılıç, an associate professor from Istanbul Technical University. Um, textile engineering is a, has a long history in ITU actually, starting from 1955. At the time we were just a department under uh, faculty of mechanics. In 2004, it became a separate uh, faculty, a, a separate college in the university. So as you see here, these are some pictures from our uh, ongoing studies and from some parts of our department. Um, our graduate programs covers a wide range of topics uh, from regular textiles, wearable textiles to wearable electronics, uh, from composites to fashion design. You can work on the very different areas of textile engineering. Um, so as you see here, we are located in a Gümüşük campus of Istanbul Technical University. So it has a spectacular view and it has a, one of the oldest buildings of Istanbul Technical University. Um, as I said, we do have a large infrastructure for your uh, graduate level studies. Uh, we have textile and apparel quality control laboratories. Uh, so this is our main lab. On the other side, we do have some laboratories concentrated on specific topics like electronic textiles, medical textiles, uh, textiles for disabled persons. So I'm going to talk about them later. So this is a big one of the one of our uh, strongest laboratory is uh, the composite laboratory, textile based composite laboratory. We do have uh, several instruments, um, state of the art devices to produce composite materials. Most of the composite materials are dependent on fiber materials. <coughs> so due to that reason, this is one of the areas textile engineers are working currently. Another specific laboratory we do have is the TEMAC, which is concentrated on air filtration materials and medical textiles. Uh, we are trying to collaborate with our friends in hospitals, medical doctors, as well as people from the industry to produce such technical uh, fabrics, technical textiles. Another laboratory we do have is concentrated on design of mobile textile structures for textile materials for disabled persons. So we do have a universal, universal textile design center which is concentrated on uh, the design and production of uh, textile materials that makes the life of disabled persons easier. Uh, other than this, we do have TSMF laboratory, which is concentrated on uh, polymeric fibers as well as uh, nanocomposites and uh, related products that are produced by thermoplastic fibers. Uh, here, I'd like to give you information about some thesis we previously done in the in Istanbul Technical University. I tried to emphasize with red. So we do have a wide range of topics to work on, actually, from drug delivery to dyeing of materials, dyeing of textile materials, and also uh, the cardiovascular by bypass graphs and flame retardation. These are all um, interesting and uh, state-of-the-art topics that textile engineers in ITU are working on. 
Um, we do have a couple of projects, ongoing projects, and I'm going to talk about our ongoing and the previous projects. As you see here, I again emphasize with reds, we have projects on medical textiles, medical applications, concentrated on medical applications to some uh, high value added uh, composite materials. On the other side, nanofibers and related nanomaterials are important research area in uh, our department. We do have struct uh, systems for nanofibers and other nanomaterial productions. Uh, one uh, topic which is very popular nowadays we hear is the electronic textiles and wearable electronics. So we do have projects, ongoing projects on these electronic textiles. Even those of the fibers might take place inside lithium ion, sodium ion batteries. We do have ongoing studies on to, to produce some materials that can take the take place even in the batteries, my friends. So here are some examples from the completed projects. Again, as I said, wearable textiles, conductive fibers, flame retardancy, and composite materials, medical textiles are important areas our professors are currently concentrated. So who can apply? We do have some uh, limits, constrictions in this regards. Um, you should have at least 2.25 GPA. And on the other side, you have to show ALES, uh, uh, specific ALES level, which is 70, uh, and also equivalent GRE levels is accepted. We do have good quota for the PhD students as well. Um, but at that time, you have to show also your master degree. Um, the English is, our department is 100% English. So for that reason, you should pass also ITU's proficiency exam or equivalent TOEFL results are also acceptable. So uh, you can find information about the department on our uh, websites on the links here. So we will be happy to see you in ITU in University campus. Uh, I wish you success in your future studies. Thank you very much.